Well, I think there's a bit of exaggeration going on here because you will have heard uh, at the time of the referendum forecasts from the great and the good, like the one you've just mentioned, that we were going to lose four or 500,000 jobs in the immediate aftermath of uh, the votes. Just voting to leave would frighten people. Actually, the country's created 400,000 jobs in the first year, more by now, I believe. Uh, it, household incomes, in spite of the gloom, are at record highs. Uh, the, the, it was said that the bankers were all going to leave. That was the most uh, major aspect of the project fear. They haven't. Employment in the city's gone up. So you'll hear these things from people, particularly if they're trying to uh, frighten uh, people, especially if it's an a, a EU-linked business like uh, Airbus. And uh, it's just not true. Okay, Australia, well, we'll New Zealand, Canada, Sorry, Japan, Tim, they all do very well and they're not in the EU. Hear... Well, it hasn't been complicated at all from my point of view because it won't make much difference uh, in terms of uh, these terrible things which are going to happen. Our trades uh, uh, sales as a company are at a record. Corporate profits in the UK are at a record. There's lots of co countries wanting to do trade deals. The EU is 7% of the world and it puts up barriers to the other 93%. We can trade with the other 93% without the customs union tariffs, which make goods expensive when Will goes to the shop after this programme. Right. Uh, he's paying more because of the EU. So don't worry, Will. We'll be fine.